It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 770. Joining us back in the studio, Jace Hawkins. And we've also got GB. He's, He's back in the building. Mate, yep. Thanks for coming back, Jace. No, no worries. Couldn't help but notice I wasn't in the video opener. Uh, from last time I was here. Oh, but really? that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all good. Uh, uh, good time to start the show on. That's fine. Make me feel comfortable. It's hump day replay. Do you know about uh, hump days? No, I fast forward to Fatty Fridays. <laughs> Fat Fridays. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't, we're not fat phobic uh, no, anymore. We like that. We an email, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> but, uh, feedback, welcome. So, no, feedback is welcome. But GB, <laughs> uh, sometimes. I, th- I thought you handled that very well, by the way. Thanks, yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been called out? <laughs> called out? For anything? Um, no, but I like I I went through my chubby years in high school and stuff like that. So like I related to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. So GB's back. It's yep. not Wednesdays are hump days. They are. And so we do a, a wrap up where he goes through and he produces this. It's almost like a. Um, oh yes. Sorry, yeah. I'm with yeah. you now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, can I flag something straight up? Yeah, sure. Um, we're live streaming. Yeah. Sebs and Grace. Yes. Mm. Supposed to be on a romantic week away. Dare I say, first physical week they've ever had together. Yes. Mm-hmm. First w- vacation with a girl Mason's ever had. Yeah. yeah. Let alone a girlfriend. Are they watching the live stream right now? <laughs> uh, according to the comments, yeah. Grace, unless someone's hacked her account, <laughs> is in the f- in the oh, live feed. Oh, Sebs, we need to have a chat. <laughs> we need to have a chat. <laughs> or, he's, or he's just uh, s- slipped into relationship life. Like, this is it- day three? Yeah. I mean, they're a modern day couple. Maybe the modern day couple is that sitting in bed, straight just, into what you do after oh, at you least reckon- five months of a relationship. Where yeah, you, right. You know, you're just on your phones. Uh, maybe mm. that is a thing. Like, I th- yeah. you think about how long you've been with your wife? Uh, over ten years. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen years. Mm-hmm. Next week it's my. Um, I think it's my sixth year anniversary. Oh, congratulations! Wedding anniversary. Uh, Would that be right? No, Six? that's not right. No, twenty fifteen. No, you got married 17, in 18, 18, 19, 20, fifth. Did you go to the no. wedding, Josh? Wasn't invited. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it was at a time. Yeah, it was. No, I get it. No, George, it's fine. get across no, the wedding. Yeah, no, uh, I was invited, but I couldn't make it. <laughs> no, she's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> could have thrown your invite, to George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't invited. No, it's weddings right. are tough, man. We've got uh, like our executive producer Alex has had to put off his wedding mm. um, this year. So sash the newsreader because of COVID. Um, he was going to Vegas, wasn't he? Uh, for the uh, the Bucks, the there Bucks. was there was talk of that. Oh, jeez! Um, and then Bali, we're going to do Bali. Really? Um, to, let's be. That's a down, going from Vegas to Bali. <laughs> yeah. Was it always going to be Bali? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was. Vegas was like pie in the sky, mm-hmm. and then we're like realistic, maybe a trip to Bali. Uh, but they've had to move it up. But we we're discussing guest lists and stuff the other day, and it's mm. so tough. Mm. Um, even like people you work with, like Sasha Newsreader was inviting. Oh, was it PJ? But she hasn't met PJ mm, or so doesn't know PJ, yeah, the partner yeah. that well, okay, so yeah. he can't come. And it's like, that's awkward because they've been together for so long. And mm. This is why, like I know it sounds like a cop out, but this is, Bree and I have been together for 13 years. Mm. And the main reason that we aren't married. Is a wedding guest list? Yes. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I swear. You no, find any do, do, you, do you believe that, TJ? I think you're not the type that um, would enjoy going to a nightclub, enjoy going to some sort of party mm-hmm. where you're sort of having to, let alone be the centre of attention at the party. It's and just so a lot of- um, It makes sense that it, you're the guy. But on the other side, I love parties. My wedding, it's stressful. Oh, no, you're working. It's it's you're, not it's a, a work party. Night. It's a work night. I would much prefer even kids, like not the same, but ha- running a three-year-old's birthday versus going to a three-year-old's birthday. Totally different. Mm-hmm. Having your own wedding, going to a wedding. There's yeah. just, the, yeah, there's I no- can't even be fucked going to weddings, to be honest. I just think the whole- <laughs> I'm glad I didn't ask you. Know you. Yeah. Hey, I'm the same. It's a new thing. Yeah. I just, you know what I hate? Bad speeches. <laughs> yeah. It just, oh. yeah. it kills my night. I go, you know what? We could be doing drinks, catching up with friends right now. Let's, come on. Yeah. Come on. Move it along. Do you reckon you're getting more antisocial as you get older? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I struggle with ISO and lockdown at the start. Mm-hmm. And then the minute they ease restrictions where you could just have like three people over, I was like, I'm actually content with this. Mm. Yeah. I don't need clubs and bars and stuff. As long as like the winery bar down the street's open, I can go down there and have a couple of drinks with some mates or the bowls club or have people over. I'm How good. old are you? 37. <laughs> eight. <laughs> the bowls club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean. Yeah, but if you go there, 
it makes you feel younger because you're like the youngest <laughs> by a lot of years. I love that. Love it's that. like on the show, I'll always, I'll always refer to myself like, you know, putting on heaps of weight and uh-huh. looking old. And then when people meet you, they're like, mate, mate. you're not that big. And I'm like, I know. So it's great. <laughs> you, the, the young, fit guy. What Under the promise, over deliver. This <laughs> no. show's motto. It's a way to do it. I mean, talking about that, you were, you were asking about uh, Mr. 97 and his commitment to the Blair Beach House in regards to oh, content. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about this? So, I uh, I missed a couple of potties and then I started hearing about the Blair Beach House and Lou's sister, my wife's, mm-hmm. uh, so my sister-in-law's got a beach house down there and great spot, awesome location to get away. And then I was like, he's, he's getting this on the account, isn't he? Mm-hmm. It's totally free. Yep. And then I saw the amazing social post he was doing. <laughs> Terrible content. <laughs> And what he's done do? that. What would you do? If Anything but what he's doing. <laughs> What's um, he doing? Because I like I must be missing. I don't have my well, fucking Instagram account. So the thing account. is that there is stuff that I, I think he's done actual like fuck all. He's done one post I think <laughs> of um, a platter. A platter. A platter with the, two drinks. And the other stuff Wasn't is all- that Grace's photo? Yeah. No, it was, sorry, you're right. He retweeted. Yeah, That's all re-gram. he did. <laughs> yeah. And he did that thing that really annoys me where people put the tag of the location at the bottom of the screen. It was so small. So <laughs> I couldn't click on it because every time I went to click on the tag, it would bring up the comment part. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, I can't even click the link <laughs> to see where you're staying for free. So, so he got this contra based on having to sort of do a few social media posts to create some video content. It's two thousand dollars worth of value. Rod is an angel yeah. for allowing young oh, Sevs. Rod, I'll do a deal for you, mate. <laughs> yeah. When you want to put someone up for free, a comp, I'll show you social content. <laughs> Hook it's, us up. I mean, it, this is he. This is more getting getting more out of a, a deal than we have essentially mm. as the hosts of the show. I mean, mm. you've got a full team of producers. Are they sort of? Have you heard any sneakies going on behind the scenes? Getting deals. Deals. Um, oh, we get free firewood um, oh, from that's Red Gum good. Firewood Supplies. Okay. Oh, that's good. We've yeah, got a- Thank you to Kevin, the crew. Um, we've hit it off with uh, Mark and the crew from Two Brothers Brewery in Moorabbin. I'll oh, take yeah. you lads down there. Two Brothers. Okay, great. great spot. Yeah. Cochran's Road. Um, Is it Cochran's Road at the back there in I, the industrial area? Yeah, yeah, in the industrial yeah, yeah, area. Yeah. Big fire pit out the front. Oof. Where's their wood from? <laughs> um, well, funnily enough, I just took them up with Kev, the firewood place. So, Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's good. Um, oh, everyone's got a couple of little snacks, only small stuff. Is there mm. a rule? Like, because I mean, this is set. The, the issue is that we said we would sort of come in, save the day if it all goes to shit. So it's like, minimum. which it's going to. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is, pa- this is uh, damage control right now. Yeah, like, a few little cheeky. You know who taught me the best deal? When I was doing nights with Kyle Sandilands in Brisbane. So we were doing the night show on Triple M. All right, and the radio station was in the middle of the city, and the TV stations were up on Mount Cutha, which was like 20, 30 minutes out of the city. So if a car crash or a news story broke, they'd have to get the camera crews down the mountain. So Channel 7 uh, hired out a room at the bottom of the Triple M building, and from 4 p.m. would just put a camo in there, camera guy who would just sit there and listen to the police scanners. So half the night he was just sitting there, and Kyle and I were like, hang on, let's work this out. We're here doing nights. We'd love dinner. He's down there with a the car. So I started ringing restaurants in the city for Sydney and said, look, if we gave you um, cartons of Coca-Cola for you to sell in your store, in return, would you feed us and the Channel 7 camera guy? And they're like, yeah, no worries. And I'm like, okay, great. Now I just need to pick the food up because this is pre-Uber Eats days. Mm. So then I'd go down to the Channel 7 guy and I'd like, if I could put two cartons of Coke in the back of your Channel 7 van on the way back from the car accident that you filmed, can you stop and grab the meal for good. us? You give them the Coke and we all get fed. And that was the deal. And we did it every night for two years. What <laughs> happens if there isn't a car rate? Like, I was ripeable if there was like a siege or something like that. And he was like, mate, I'm out here for six hours. Yeah. And I'm like, you're right, mate, we'll start. Yeah. Yeah. All good. Is, is that cash for comment? I mean, no, because you're not saying anything on <laughs> No, it's no, that's, on that's just, you know, that's old school <laughs> deals for 80 bucks worth of food here and there. I think if mm. I'm rocking up in a Maserati and I'm saying, if you want to improve your life, yeah, buy yeah. a Maserati, then you're getting, you know, in trouble. Yeah, but where do you buy a Maserati from if someone was wanting to know? I only know where to get a Mazda from. Tommy and <laughs> Ringwood Mazda. Mazda. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ringwood Mazda. They've been around. Um, but have you, GB, okay. have you got a hump day replay? So, yes, yeah, so I've done hump day replays now every week for 11 weeks in a row. And um, All right, mate, I get it. I've missed <laughs> yeah. 11 weeks <laughs> yeah. on Wednesdays. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, it's basically just a recap of the week and, and they're, they're going really well. Um, I've just got a letter that I'd like to read out if that's okay. You sure? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Dear Mr. Jacket and Mr. Jansen, okay. I'm writing to formally request an extension for my assignment, Georgie Boy's Hump Day Replay. <laughs> okay. As you're aware, I have been away the last couple of days, and during this time, I was requi- required to give my eyes a rest from the screen. I had every intention of ignoring the doctor's orders and completing the edit, so I sent my draft to Tommy on Instagram and Facebook, but received no reply. <laughs> Dog. Since then, the doctor called me and said, you need to give your eyes a one-week rest, or you could do permanent damage. <laughs> so now, for the announcement. July 1, put it in the calendar. Hump Day Replay returns for season two. All new characters, all new graphics, all new music. It's going to be bigger, stronger, better. Please this, accept. Jace, this is going to be exciting for you. As you I <laughs> feel like you've broken the rule of uh, under the, uh, what is it? Under pro- uh, over yeah. promise. Uh, under promise over He's gone the other way. He's <laughs> definitely <laughs> gone the other way. <laughs> so, please accept this extension request and my sincere apologies for not delivering 12 weeks in a row. Okay. George Martin. I think it's uh, what do we think? What's yeah, the feeling? I think, I think it's. A, are you going to do a rebrand? Or are you still calling it Hump Day? Yeah, it's up for discussion. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I think I think I'd keep it Hump Day. No, I'm happy with Hump Day. I think it's a good day. It's the middle of the week. We're well, looking at other days. Yeah, What's your I've... favorite benchmark that you've ever done on radio? Oh, not proud of it, but it was uh, Pasha Carney for Gwen Stefani. <laughs> <laughs> where, um, <laughs> where in Brisbane do... Uh, <laughs> what's Pasha Carney? And when tickets pa- to... Pasha Carney? Oh, Pasha Carney. Oh, that's funny. The, oh, that's funny. Ed- <laughs> the Brisbane Echo was on and we made people uh, Pasha, the guy that ran the Dodgem cast to win tickets to Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Not my proudest moment. But <laughs> but good, con- good content. Great content for a week. And people yeah. did it? Yeah. It's yeah. amazing what people do for prizes. Well, I saw that. I saw that you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw that you. You guys were giving away Uber Eats vouchers to or gift cards to gym goers on Monday morning. Yeah, just a, a way to sort of like because they ease restrictions here in Victoria. Mm-hmm. You could go back to the gym, so we sent Tony Roddy, our producer, down to say because you know like those people that were lined up on Monday, you know, F forty five ready to go. Mm-hmm. They've been waiting for mm-hmm. it, and good for them. They're better than me. Um, she was bribing them with uh, Uber Eats vouchers not to go into the gym class. <laughs> so, I, I love this because when I heard that it was happening, I thought I can imagine the conversation or the meeting or the, the throwaway comment of wouldn't it be funny if and then the reality of actually going out there and trying to convince people because you're giving 50 bucks. Was that yeah, all? yeah. How did you go? Well, I didn't have to worry about the reality yeah. of it because I just pitched the idea on Friday at eleven o'clock when I was walking out of the oh, I love that. out of the studio. They're like, oh, "All right, guys, Monday, gyms don't come." Surely, like, oh, I'll just chuck them vouchers, see if they don't go in. Well, surely people, because I feel like um, Brie goes to like um, gym at six in the morning, and yeah. there's no way that she would take a sixty, like a fifty buck uh, voucher. We had the other problem; they wouldn't even stop to talk to her. Oh yeah, <laughs> like there was only twenty people in a class. They did, you know, I think there was that fear of if I'm late. I'm uh-huh. miss out on my spot. You got to wait. Pe- I'm sorry. You're going to think people waited like four months to get back in mm. there. So I get it. <laughs> Plus coronavirus. Exactly. So we had Tony Roddy ring with uh, the old call about 90 seconds to go. We can't get anyone. We can't oh, get yeah. anyone. And then you you know scrambling and moving things. So around. the paid actors came out from behind. <laughs> yeah. <them. laughs> <laughs> no, it's we were shuffling on the go and move stuff up and move her cross down. TJ was telling me about, we didn't have it so much in um, like the national show when we did FIFA and Jules, but the uh, the fake caller, specifically mm. around regional, like uh, you would you would have phoners or whatever and you wouldn't necessarily get a call. I think everyone got in trouble because everyone was just calling other radio stations oh. around the country, hot FM cans, you know, ca- coming in hot I to ha- share. It's a personal hate of mine. Like uh, there's some shows I've listened to where I, the caller will be like, Jenny, what's your story? And I'm like... I know Jenny. She's an account. <laughs> like I really like the voice straight away. I feel, um, yeah, like as a team, because we've all got mates in radio, and so everyone just refuses to be the fake caller for someone. Mm-hmm. I'd, yeah. I'd rather get on and go. You know, no one we've got thirteen one zero six five. Give us a ring if you like to lick your feet and come back and own it and go. Mm-hmm. And whenever we've come back and gone, well, that's embarrassing. Like we got no calls to that topic then they'll ring. Mm. But I think it's, you know, there's a large percentage of people who sit there and go, oh, yeah, I like my feet, but I'm not going to ring. I'd never ring a radio station. But then when you hear no one else is called, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, well, this is A, my opportunity to get through and B, I can't leave you hanging, mm-hmm. especially if you've shown vulnerability in what you're asking. I actually just uh, remember, did you see the ACRAs? They cancelled the ACRAs? Yeah. 
Yeah, which Pe- sucks a bit because everyone was working on, and for anyone that doesn't know, because I know you love a reset, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Logies for radio but without money. And <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. how good yeah. the Logies is and then apply that to the Acros. Yeah, you've yeah. got a fucking you get um, money for the Logies if you win a Logie. No, but I just mean more than night. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the budget. Yeah. Yeah, broadcast on television. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the it's the recourse Acres. meal, like yeah. not yeah. just yeah. boozy <laughs> drinks. Um, but everyone was working on their entries and, you know, and then um, they came out and said, oh, no, we'll push the entry date a little bit later, so keep working on it. So, and I don't know if you guys have ever filled them out, but those entries are a nightmare. The People are editing. Yeah, they're oh. editing like the their best audio. And and so, like everyone that. trying to fucking like compile. I remember being an editor and just like, it's the yeah. worst time of oh, year because you're putting together. It's like, oh, we need that reaction shot. We need to work, you know. They're basically creating submissions to win an industry award. But like, like putting I, together a resume, but yeah. like times 10. Have you won one? Never. So I got uh, nominated. I oh, should really find wonderful. it and we'll play it. It was um, Tommy and Candy, okay. that show. But then what I realised was we didn't have to pay to go because we got nominated. Yes, but that it, was the beauty of being- I've been nominated a few times and if you get nominated, it's great because then the company pays for yeah. your ticket. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like 250 yeah. bucks. Oh. Yeah. Chicken or beef <laughs> and a few yeah. crown lagers. That's what they yeah. serve up. And so this year- because I sort of get there, you know, with all the um, uh, corona stuff, you can't really do it. But they probably could have still done the actual awards. They could have done the awards online. Mm-hmm. I just, I feel for everyone that did all that work in the lead up to put in their nominations and then just at the last minute go, actually, we're just not going to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think They've that put sucks. the pin on a bunch of stuff. Uh, Djokovic has got coronavirus. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. He put on a tournament and he pushed ahead with it. And he's now apologising, saying I should have, I shouldn't have. Mm. Well, this read is it wrong. this feels very breakfast, right? Like you guys would have covered it today, did you? Um, no, no, we left that to news. To be <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you cover today? Because yeah, well, um, when we had um, PJ on, it was like the the shit that stuck in your mind that mm-hmm. just you can recall. Uh, we had a big chat today about. Um, oh, sorry, we did test requests all morning, so people were lining up for four hours in testing centres waiting to get oh, tested the drive-throughs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we did give us a ring for a test request. You just got to send us a photo and prove you're lining up for a Corona test, and then and we just play, and you play tr- yeah, song. we play Bohemian Rhapsody at eight this morning for a ten-year-old <laughs> waiting. It was freaking out about getting tested. Oh, that's good. That's fun. Great. Yeah, Have you been was, tested yet? No, no, no. I had a um, uh, heated topic. I had a sniffle and a sore throat the start of last week. Okay. Um, it's all good. <laughs> okay, sure. Totally fine now. Uh-huh. Totally fine. Was there for two days. Sure. There was a general feeling mm-hmm. amongst the team like, hey, can you? Mm-hmm. And in hindsight, maybe I was a little stubborn and didn't do it. Mm. And Is I came management good. saying, are they saying, hey, you guys need to, like a lot of memos going out at big companies at the well, moment? Well, here's or- the funny thing. Our boss, I don't want to get him in the shit here, but our boss sent me an email. I can probably find it. Yeah, it was okay. quite a um, strict email, like, you know, for the sake of the team mm-hmm. and the community, people can hear you're sick. You should be getting tested. It's yeah. your responsibility, all mm-hmm. this. Um, I didn't check my email. Yeah, sure. For a week, <laughs> yeah. and I then I you got- guys are com- in- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Com- you enjoy- I don't like the puppet socket though. Why the fuck have you got a puppet socket on your? Oh, it's a Christian hole one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's, um- it's a good talking point at the RSL. Too. <laughs> Plus, just in case I run into him again, I'm like, still using it. You faded. There's no Trish on there, but I, I actually have his um, key ring. Oh yeah, but it's it was um, before he went to the smaller key rings. It was a very large key ring, and so every time I drive the mm. i30, is it hit your knee? Yeah, if it's my name. Yeah. Um, so, just on the email, like I heard, I was watching old Joe Rogan uh, co- commentating UFC. I was watching UFC last night and he sounded just a bit under the weather. And I had the moment of like, fuck, what about now? Like when that happens, you can't be out and about. Like I've gone to work sick, but I not infectious. But this is the thing. This is all just in my head. I don't understand. I yeah. don't know the- because it's hard it's this time of year. Everyone's still getting colds and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like, But, yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have pulled my finger out and went and got tested. Mm-hmm. Um, all good now. Came good two days later. But you know. Got the antibodies. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the original email I, I opened from the boss was the one I got a week later saying, oh, you didn't bite. I just sent you an email to fire you up. And I was like, what's he talking about? And then I opened the <laughs> corona email. And I'm like, actually, you know what? Probably... That's email should be serious. You probably should be sending me that. <laughs> it's actually just covering your ass. Early days there was That's a bunch what I of, thought as well. There was a bunch of legalities around sending all your employees information about coronavirus because you can get well, I think now sued or businesses can get fined if they let you work 
and you're sick. Well, there's this fifteen hundred bucks that the Victorian government mm. are doing. Oh, so, yeah, if you are sick, and which yeah. I was sort of like a little bit. It's almost like tats a lot. Because like, at the moment, the way that COVID is, it's like oh, it's not good if you get it. But now that they've incentivized it. Yeah, but you've got to be out of sick pain. Everything. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, it's, it's not like it's, a, it's not a baby yeah, bonus. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, <laughs> I, yeah. I saw the headline: fifteen hundred bucks if you get sick. It's yeah. like fuck yeah, but no. Fuck you need yeah, to, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we counted it all up within our office. We oh, could make ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> saw, um, That's more know, lighting, new cameras. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Michael Beveridge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He posted last night that he's been in hospital for ten days, nearly died of sepsis. What Jesus. is seriously? Is, is I saw he right his, now. I saw his tweet. He's like, I just got out. I've lost like ten kilos. But I mean, he, you know how he's a funny guy. So it like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where did he get it? Said, <laughs> what did he say? I had a what, sore what is throat. That, by no, the he way? said, what he is said I had an infection. So it's like okay. sepsis. So, so he's it, okay now. He said I'm fine, but like you know how he's a funny dude. So it's like threading funny with I just di- nearly died and I was in a comatose mm-hmm. state for ten days from a sore throat mm-hmm. that then turned into that. Fucking crazy. I'm surprised he hasn't yes. turned up on radio full time again. He, he yeah. works at the. Um, the mattress company, Koala. Yeah, he's the, um, he's the creative, creative director. director there. Ah. He's doing great stuff. Yeah, he'd be doing really well there. Mm. So I always liked him on radio. I did Adelaide for a few years. Mm-hmm. Funny uh, guy. Last time you were in the studio, I don't know if you remembered, but we had the heater on. Yeah. You, and you um, pissed about that. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I yeah, hit yeah. that well. <laughs> no, I was you got polite. <laughs> but when it, once the. The cameras went off. You were blowing up like I'd never seen before. <laughs> and, and, and so to- <laughs> I threw a monitor. Like- <laughs> Actually, that's a, I don't know on the monitor thing very quickly. Uh, I don't know who told us. It must have been someone in your crew about a couple of people who, when they were working from home, they, were, they took their monitors all, home. All the staff in the building have taken mm-hmm. like their laptop and the adjoining monitor. Like Honestly, it looks like the building we're moving out. Did you hear what happened in the car park? Apparently, the day that everyone moved. Someone broke one. There was a couple. Oh, Trip I didn't know there was a couple. There, there, there was multiple. Was I just ima- imagine just all these people walking out. And- we, we have been having a situation at work. Hopefully, it's been resolved <laughs> as of this morning. Dan, the tech has promised me. But- um, because budget cuts and like they're trying to cut money, which every company is, and I get mm-hmm. that. Um, the techs were instructed to turn the air conditioning off overnight now. Oh. So the air conditioning is getting turned off, I don't know, like 10, 11 o'clock. Luckily, right? there's no oh. monitors around for Jay's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Give me something to throw. Um, but we all come in and we're in like a meeting from five in the studio. But the aircon's not coming back on no, till fucked. four. Mm-hmm. But it's taken like four yeah. hours to cool the place down. And that studio, like we've got a video wall behind us. There's yeah. monitors everywhere. And just, I've been playing it cool. But for the mm-hmm. last yeah couple of weeks, I'm like, guys, we've got to. And yeah. I reckon it'd be costing more. If you're turning the aircon off, mm-hmm. the whole building goes hot. And then four hours later, you've got to get it back to 22. That's what I've never understood about um, you know, the cars that will turn off when you stop yeah. at the lights. It's like, surely that takes a lot. I've thought, they've, they've definitely thought no, about they, it. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> you should email like yeah. Mazda or something and just go, hey, Guys, yeah. keep it on. Yeah. Keep it on. <laughs> Have you ever driven a Tesla? No, I've been in one. I would. That's one of those cars no. where it's oh. like um, that I lust for. They I, gave me yeah. a Tesla S for a weekend once. Really? Oh, just Incredible. It meets the hype. Yeah. But also I was like, do I need a car that's mm. going to get me to 100Ks in three seconds? Yes. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, vegan leather. Really? Yeah. That's what I heard. I, so Logan Paul's ex-video guy. I've been talking a lot about Logan Paul, but there's all these people that left his team, new people come in and out. But one of the guys who, he must have made cash because he's fucking living a good lifestyle. But he bought a he might have brand a lot new of cash. Tesla. They're doing a, yeah, probably. It's America. Debt's great over there. Um, what does that mean? As in credits, you know, the credit thing yeah. in, the, in the States. It's not great in general, but um, it's a ca- I like that guy. contactless pickup of your Tesla. So you buy it, you rock up to a car park and you don't speak to anyone. It's like- oh, I like that. You get it. You've got your phone. Psh, mm. Bang, you're in. It feels a little dodgy just yeah, picking up a car like, in an empty yeah. car park. But I mean, it's theft. Do you understand the like a car rentals, like when you rent a car- Sevs has it doesn't have his license, but Grace was looking after the car rental. <laughs> insurances are an absolute clusterfuck. Do you understand? Can you give us a run through of how insurances work for car rentals? Oh, what man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't work for Avis yeah. before. Like, that in crew, right? it's, it's Whenever in we've done car rental, we normally just do it under travel insurance. So we say no to the car insurance. Mm-hmm. 
And like if we've traveled with the kids accent? and stuff, oh, this is this is interesting. Like okay. so, we'll go through like one. Co- if we go to Bali or like even up to Brisbane over the holidays, we're mm. going to spend two weeks there with the fam. We just buy the sixty dollar one cover or whatever it is, and then that normally includes like five thousand dollar car excess or whatever. So then when I'm rocking up at Avis or Hertz, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want your insurance. Mm. I'm all good. So the the point being is when like we paid for insurance in the states pr- through our through our travel insurance, mm-hmm. but then you get there like, nah, look. I know you paid the extra bit, but it's not the, it's not public liability here in the state. So, so it doesn't give you third party. So if you hurt someone, you're liable. No, third party is normally compulsory for car insurance. Like mm-hmm. I think third parties covered. In Australia, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then again, I, I haven't probably had a career. Well, no, but this is the whole thing. <laughs> it's I illegal feel like- to drive a car in yeah, Australia without yeah, so insurance. Be. It's illegal because it's a TAC thing for third party. You can yeah, you can't go and hit Tommy on the street and mm-hmm. like there will be cover. Yeah. Okay. It's, um, Sorry, I asked, but I, it's, it just seems like it's one of those things. But you look, like, all, you look like a car salesman. I get it all the time, guys. <laughs> get it all the time. It's fine. I was I, when I bought. I bought a Hyundai. I was went to a bunch of dealers. Worst experience in my life trying to buy a car. I just want to have the money where I don't have to think about the price. When you go to a car yard, do you? Because I always get overwhelmed when they come over and tell me how many Ks it can do. I don't understand any of that. Yeah. I just want to know. Like I'm a gadget guy. Like leather seats. Yeah. Is that, are mm. they heated? Visual price. That's it. Apple car we, or whatever this, it's Yeah, yeah, all the, thing, all the fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, it was like a scene in a film. The guy wrote the price on paper. We were in his office and he fucking slides it across the table. Uh, <laughs> I was blown away. Just a like, cheese ball for- salesman. <laughs> ridiculous. That's ridiculous. A, today, that's what I can do for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't get the sale. Hey, bitch. That's just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling your friends. What? You'd be good at sales, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> if you, what were you doing before radio? Uh, first high school job, mm-hmm. David Jones. Okay. Um, like one of my mates who work in Maccas and stuff, I worked at David Jones in the electrical department. Where was that? In, uh, in Brisbane. Yeah. So, selling like TVs and home theatres to elderly clients because it was, you know, no one young was going buying a stereo or a TV from David Jones. Mm-hmm. So yeah. here I am selling this like Dolby surround sound thing to this 65-year-old lady just wants to watch <laughs> Days of Our Lives. And you're like, no, you want to hear the sand through the hourglass behind you. So you need <laughs> yeah. the eight speakers. Um, and then I did this such a salesman sleazy thing. Um, you know how people go- Slow with a customer. No. <laughs> 65 you got me. You got me. Um, you know when like- around, so. <laughs> Close so, the deal. <laughs> so, I want to tell you the price and you go, all right, we're going to go and have a cup of coffee and just have a chat about it. Mm-hmm. David Jones back then had restaurants in food, them. The food was court. It? David Jones no, no, food yeah, court? Yeah. So, it's what like I would do- Plush, plush. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what I would do in the food court was right next to the electrical department. I'd go, well- don't bother going out back into the shopping centre. Here's a voucher to have some free coffees at David Jones. Right. And then what I'd do is I'd just mill around <laughs> the exit of well, the cafe because then they couldn't leave without having to walk past me. And even if 20% of people would buy yeah. the TV because they felt bad, there's 20% of sales that you never used to get. I just imagine that you give them the, the coffee voucher, they go to order the coffee and you're the, the barista. <laughs> <laughs> just Thought funny. about the TV anymore? <laughs> Shh, you going to go too? Are you, um, what was the last big purchase you've made? I purchased and at the start of ISO. Um, I convinced my wife to let me buy an inflatable hot tub. An, infl- any, any an inflatable good? hot tub. Yeah, because we're in a rental mm-hmm. and I re- I'd really want to spa. Mm. And then I thought, we're about to be locked down for three months with the kids. Um, so, I went down a rabbit hole online. I was looking at catch and all that. And then I didn't have the patience to wait a week. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I went out to Bunnings and bought one. It was about $750. Ooh. Amazing. Really? Comes, Still Comes with the filter, keeps it at 40 degrees. Like, she is warm. 40 degrees, I've spent probably 60 bucks in pool chemicals. Just check it every week. Give it a, you know, don't go over the top. Yeah. PJ jumped in it after a fake tan and the water oh, turned no, a little no. bit. Yeah. <laughs> there was a few more chemicals that day. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 750 bucks. What's it. the material like? Is it, so it's not like a vinyl like pool. Yeah, it's like a block pool, but it's vi- like it's, it's very thick quality. We're almost like a bouncing castle, like a jumping yeah, castle. Yeah, yeah, almost. Like if I sit on the edge, it's not like, like. Uh-huh. It's like sitting on mm, hard plastic. How did plastic. you blow it up? Um, well, you use the filter. Oh, that's great. Really? So, because it blows bubbles as well. I feel like, like you're selling it. Are you wanting to sell this? Because I feel like- I'll give you a discount <laughs> code. Uh, <laughs> Just head over to Bunnings uh, yeah. Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's 493. Type that in. The coupon code. Um, but yeah, we've used it, I reckon, three, four times a week. 
It's good. I mean, that's and how many weeks in a row then? Oh, we've had it for four months. Oh, and then just know- recently, this is great. This is where it's just come in so handy. If we people over for drinks or dinner on a Friday or Saturday night, what we found is after a few, you'd be like, hey, let's all get in the hot tub. Hot tub turns people. So if you get in there, yeah, every time they've gotten out afterwards and been like, no more drinks for us. I think we're going to call it a night. Really? I think I would leave. I think if someone said, do you want to – I remember there was um, some friends that said that they would do this. They had the club called um, – Spa and curries. They would have curries. <laughs> that's, that's fucking that's, worst that's, club. That's a bad club. That's a, Spa and curries. It looked a, like the water <laughs> after PJ jumped in. That is a weird club. Well, I felt like it was a. Um, <laughs> I feel like it was code for some form of like swinging. Don't you think? Like that sounds like again a, not sexy. <laughs> not sexy. Spa and, and curry. And curry. <laughs> It was, yeah. <laughs> I'm not about you, but my guts are fun. Yeah, and I'm hot. It feels wow. disgusting. Let's all bathe together up to that curry. <laughs> Wait, so, what is the what's what's the vibe when you when, when I pitch it? You need to, the the spa. Yeah. You need to pitch it to people in a way where I know this is coming across like a bit swinger. Yeah, you know, so like we'll be like, oh look, it says six person. You can get four in there comfortably. But if you sit on my fucking lap, <laughs> <I can't remember. laughs> we can get eight in there. Uh, um, but so, yeah, some of the time they'll be like, yeah, we'll get into it later. And also, you're a bit pissy later. Everyone's a little bit, you know, tipsy, mm-hmm. and they'll jump in. But no one has gotten out of the spa and then stayed for an extra hour. So if you want to yeah. wrap the night up, are you uh, the first one to jump in? Yeah, normally. And Lou's very good at like. Um, We'd prefer to have people at our place so that way you don't have to worry about getting home. But if Lou's tired, she'll just happily say to everyone, love you guys. Stay here till four in the morning. I don't care, but I'm mm-hmm. out. I'm going yeah. to bed. I appreciate that. I, I do that shit. But like, the yeah. funny and thing as is- a guest, if you've got someone comfortable to do mm-hmm. that, then cool. You don't feel like you need to leave. Mm. But it also feels um, like you're being generous when you're actually just leaving the party. Like saying, stay till four. Yeah. I'm a Everyone's hero. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll be in but bed. Like, but hang on, you're going to- yeah. Thanks oh. for coming to Curry Spa <laughs> Night. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Uh, have you ever gotten into a consistent? Oh, so curries and spas are a little bit strange potentially. Has there been anything that you've done? You know, I could imagine you being a poker, a poker night guy. I could imagine you being sort of a. I want to take up golf. Oh yeah, I want to do. A, I, I want to get a group together and do golf. I, I would it's do a, that. With a, I could see us doing I play golf. golf. Yeah, Can, yeah George, George is actually yeah. better than what I thought. He doesn't look. Like he could really take a swing because you're a hipster. I don't think hipsters can. Yeah. Oh no, I reckon. Um, now George is. Have you seen him kick a kick a football as in a oh, soccer you're, ball? He's, he's undercover fit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he's good with his feet. He can play basketball. He's just like Do a bit of everything. Games where you just require like focus, <laughs> and so I re- imagine golf, he's good at golf. I'm not that good, but I reckon my if I had a handicap, it would be. 20s in the 20s oh, that's right. Right. i'm like i was 32 yeah. <laughs> yeah i was 32 when i was a kid but that was um yeah. max handicap yeah. 32 or 36 but no yeah, are yeah, we, I'd be are we talking serious golf or like nine holes last beer. few holes can a hole yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 not relaxed there is social beer where would we go oh definitely not cheltenham like- my mum and dad live down there there's one behind there that's a, a good one my brother walks onto the studley park him and tommy little and a bunch of others, they walked on <clears throat> and play golf. It's like a bit rough, but it's um, Yeah, I don't want there. anywhere too professional. No. Well, the one that we go to is, um, I think it's called uh, Park Royal Park. Yeah. That it, sounds like, expensive. No, yeah. it's actually probably the worst course. <laughs> it's, the, yeah. it's the cheapest. It's like 18 bucks was for, it for nine like, holes. Was it the pinnacle of golf courses in the 80s? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And they just haven't rebranded? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not a great course. And do the, they have um, I've carts? never seen anyone do yeah, 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 it. Got they've got golf carts. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, what we do. Want. We get a cart. Oh, we're getting carts. What's the deal with insurance of carts, do you think? Again, again, family not in Avis. I don't know what bio you've read. but Actually, I could imagine you being the golf pro. At a pro shop. Oh, like, okay. yes, yes. You've got, like, definitely got the vibe definitely. of, like, yeah, fucking, he's got a you wear shorts about scratch. You like wearing shorts, so yep. I can imagine. Why buy two clubs? Get yourself a set. <laughs> 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 yeah, mate, you need a new putter. Yeah, you man. want a coffee out at the lounge? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's no, a voucher. We, we could start at the driving range. Like, if we just do a session yeah, yeah, at the, the driving, driving range. range. Great. Yeah. Beer, yeah. the range. Beers and a session. Yeah, the thing about the carts is, because we went a few weeks ago. We usually get a cart because you've got to drive across the train tracks to get to one of the holes. So, you need to like hand over your license. <laughs> oh. and, um, but now during COVID, you can only have one person in the cart at oh. a time. 
So we all have to have our own cards. I mean, that's more oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's going to end well. Um, it's annoying. This guy, Josh, I wouldn't... Well, yeah, I've cut. gotten... I, in Turkey, I got stopped. I was on one of those... Is it RTV? ATV? ATV, ATV, yeah. ATV yeah. And got pulled over for being silly. And yeah. It, it's been, and also got kicked off Le Mans go, uh, oh, yeah. go-karting in um, Dandenong. Similar <laughs> issue. Yeah, I just get silly. They're power hungry people there, though. Well, Not yeah, that but I also one, but the, any go any go kart. Yeah, I was treating go karts like <clears throat> dodge, dodge em cars, oh, so yeah. I would sort of <laughs> wait for someone to go around a corner uh, in the inside lane, and then I would just turn into them. You know, we need dangerous. to get we need to get that guy out at the Royal Show. It hangs on the back of the dodge em car. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the overalls, oh, going left right when you get stuck, and we'll put him on the back of your golf cart. Would he kiss a listener for free tickets? I, no, I wanted to bring up uh, some new, uh, a little kit that I just uh, bought. I just bought, um, have you heard of lock laces? No, I heard you talking about this the <laughs> other day. A mate of mine invested in some shoelace in New Zealand that you'll never have to tie again. He was a barista. And he had this little. And cheap. he's only yacht he now, still isn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's still a yeah. barista. Uh, <laughs> he's unemployed. Barista. Yeah, and it made me th- when I heard you talking about it in the mm. potty. I uh, thought Do you of know that. what they're called? No. Okay, so these are lock laces. Hang on. Yeah. So, this is what they look like. I feel like you could get behind it. What sort of shoes are you rocking? They're uh, like a Dunlop volley sort of they're thing. They're just vans. Vans, yeah, sure. Which I've been told I'm too yeah. old for. Um, <laughs> no, they look So, right. look That's at this. Right. So, I'm just showing the, the shoelace now. So, it's- uh, It's made over the top of a sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what it is. That's yeah. so <laughs> exactly what it and is. And you tie yeah. it and then it's you're done. And so, and so I, do- I was in the office this morning. I was upstairs. Josh got here. And I just heard this, the pitch to George and I was like, George was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. How was that experience having the pitch? It felt like schoolyard before yeah. the bell goes, a kid's talking about his rollies, his yeah. shoes with skate. You know, they're fucking versatile, mate. They've got skates in them, but you can also walk too. Well, it felt like he wasn't actually really interested in my holiday at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a bit of like- It was, it was two days. You yeah, were yeah. two days. Yeah. <laughs> how's, your, how's, yeah, well, yeah. how's your weekend? Yeah, good, yeah. See my laces? <laughs> <laughs> and then he showed me and he went into that story. Can I just... Oh, my wife's ringing. No, babe. Um, <laughs> working. I, <laughs> Ivan mentioned uh, where I'm meeting her afterwards. We're going to an open home. I know it's real Yeah. No, it's not. The thrill is it's well annoying. and truly are they, Is it all yeah. COVID? Sa- are they doing special things for Yeah. It no? um, hand sanitise, only a few people in the time. Mm-hmm. You're seeing some people at the open home that are full on, like rocking up with gloves. Mm-hmm. Uh, we looked at one the other day, which they referred to as the renovator's delight. And the, re- <laughs> <laughs> and the real estate agent said the owners have requested you wear a mask and gloves. And uh, is I that because of not. the asbestos? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, that was the thing when we got in there. I said to Lou, "There's more of a chance we're going to catch something than leave something for them." But even you know, like the little hair nets, you have to put them over your shoes. Oh, oh yeah. Like they were full like doing fucking surgery. Yeah. And so anyway, you you were saying, I I just think the thrill's gone because I hate auctions. Mm. Anything you think's mm-hmm. in your price range is going for more. People are really even now. Yeah, because there's no new houses going up, so people are really overpaying for stuff at the moment. And just the whole real estate agent world, just, I find a little, you think car sales or something. Oh. You were saying something before you picked up the phone. What was that about? Went from the shoelaces? Oh, I've got a um, concern regarding the shoelaces. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you pick up the shoe again, yeah. if you don't mind? When you fully tighten um, mm-hmm. the lace with yeah. the sleeping bag yeah, yeah. lock, mm-hmm. um, I'm just noticing a lot of excess lace. I would say, what, 20, at least 20 centimetres? Well, so this is the thing. What happens with that? You can, they're completely customizable. And so I, uh, they said leave around three inches. I don't fucking know what an inch is. I'm not either do I. And so I think I've done more than three inches. Well, and, and so the thing is that you, you can tuck it in. Oh, um, now th- there's so, an extra, hang on. So we're you, now you up to tuck. two things you have to do. To be honest, the thing that I re- like, so you can cut it and then you, you put the, the end on. wherever you, you want. So I put this end on. The thing is though, I was so angry last night because I'm creating this thing because I don't want to do my laces. The guy that has to relace his shoes, it, like oh. it was, I was so angry. Because do you know how to relace shoes? Yeah, yeah. I, I love washing my shoes. And then relacing them. Yeah, I got no And you see Jordan, Jordan, Michael Jordan would do it every game, lace up his really? shoes. Did you really? like fully lace his shoe for the first time? God, I got into that, Toko. That's good, wasn't it? Yeah, and I'm not a basketball guy. And since then, I wanted to buy a basketball hoop. I've been a rebel looking at him. Oh, really? Yeah. My <laughs> wife won't let me, but 
She's like, no, we can't just come home. We just got a spa. Yeah. And she's like, you can't just bring that home and say to the kids, we've got a basketball hoop. It's got to be for like a birthday or something. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, fair point. So what what could you, maybe like a, uh, could make up some sort of day that they No, get we've got, no, I've tried. Is that why you want to get into golf as well? Well, yeah. He's playing a lot of golf on that. I that, did think about that yeah. in the dock. I was like, well, Jordan's doing it. Yeah. And he looks, look how relaxed they look ahead of game day. Yeah. Yeah. I can just imagine us out on the course. Yeah, so watch me, because the thing is. General uh, chit chat, we'll smoking t- cigars. We're, we're yeah. talking about this on the. Um, I could get behind that. A cigar? Potentially. I just don't it? want anyone being too competitive. Like, it's social yeah, yeah, golf. No, no. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. if people come up, I'm talking to you, George, <laughs> and if people come up behind us, I want them to play through. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. the pressure of professional oh, golfers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Watching us try and hit exactly. a ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I don't, yeah. I, how can we make it happen? Because I think, because you're like me. <laughs> we you, spoke about this the other day. You, you're like, Big you, ideas yeah. want to rock up on Monday. And yeah, it's the thing is like, um, yeah, you, you will, you'll get a sense that, oh, fucking Jace is fucking ridgy ditch on this. This is happening. He's <laughs> very keen. But then it never, never happens. And do I, you, I do this a lot. And so how do we. How do we actually action something and make it a non-negotiable? First of August. It's a Saturday. I don't want to play the kid card, but Tommy will understand with this. <laughs> like, you'll go, oh, your next Monday works for me. And then Sunday night will be a nightmare with the kids. Then you'll mm-hmm. feel bad about leaving the kids and the missus. And so, we like, have to go around in, in the spa instead. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm on two weeks holiday Ooh. from this weekend. Oh, I think we make a golf day happen in that two-week window. Weekdays okay. aren't good for you guys, though, are they? Uh, every day is good. That's right. You work for an hour a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you're 27. Let's throw some dates around, and I reckon we try and achieve it in that two-week window. Weekend or weekday? You want I weekday? Think, I think weekday. You can do it yeah. early morning. It's a ni- not what sort of time? I mean, not too early, because- <laughs> Oh, yeah. Know, we want to have oh, a yeah. beer. We want to have a few beers. Yeah. And Start at midday. Yeah. That's good. Let's sit in the clubhouse Nine afterwards. holes will take okay. three hours. Perfect. Would you be up for doing a show from the clubhouse- Oh, now it's becoming work. Content. <laughs> yeah, no. No, this is the only reason you'll show up. It's content. <laughs> it actually will put a, you know. Would Big Picture Company be? Big Media. Big Media. Sorry, Big Media. Big Media. Big Media. Big Big Media. Media. Big 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 I do like that, though. Big Picture Company. Yeah, it's like if you want your photos framed, go to Big, Big Picture Company just on the corner of fucking, it's definitely on Smith Street somewhere. Um, Would this be going on the work credit card then? The oh, uh, yeah. Look, if we get, if, well, if the invoices we get, get paid on Friday. <laughs> yeah, right. could, could we um, put some producer brains from our business and your show behind this one? Maybe Mr. 97 could do an Insta post for the <laughs> golf club. <laughs> <laughs> We're never um, getting back there then, are we? <laughs> hey, are those two moving in together? You know how she's moved here? <clears throat> so, they're- um, did she's panic li- about that. She is currently, uh, she was staying at his place. Yeah. And then they, Meaning the parents straight yes, away? Yes, straight away. Whoa. Yeah. She would have met him on FaceTime. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. I think the assumption is that there's, they're not living together. I, I think well, a so new doing couple a- is not like, you can't assume you're just going to mm-hmm. move out. Plus, it has a- pressure. You don't want that. You want to sort of build into that, I feel. Was there ever a question of Grace coming over for a weekend or a week? Well, I think with all the COVID stuff, hard to get back in. Was you're in or you're out? Yeah. And yeah, so, right. we were going to do a whole- uh, after your suggestion, we were going to do a, a road trip. Yeah, and which then, would have been amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so um, selfish, really. That they got a big Priscilla bus. Yeah, that, oh, that would have been that right. Josh would've on the top. Been, yeah, <laughs> looking like a oh, the middle of the desert. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, no, they're house sitting <laughs> someone's house in um, in July, and so they'll be spending three weeks together then. So that's a good little onboarding. So where's Grace living after Bulgari before? I reckon. She, I think Sevs. she's staying at Sevs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same room. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bad, same bed and all that sort of thing. Were you allowed girls over when you were living at home? <laughs> if I could get one home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. It was a oh, shock to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we picked that wrong. We thought it was the other way. Um, I got three older sisters and there was a massive gap between uh, my younger sister and me. So, sort of mum and dad didn't really care by the time I came along. Yeah. Mm. It's a bit like that last last child. Yeah. Any fir- do you remember any first dates? What, what were you like on a first date? <sighs> I was terrible. Honestly, I really didn't get into the dating world. I oh, know. Sorry. I did take a girl to the movies. I'm not a Star Wars guy. Um but I was definitely- When did into- Star Wars come out? Wasn't that the 70s? I don't know. When was- when did- There were new ones. <laughs> new ones came out. All right. There yeah, was Phantom well, Menace the, and all yeah, that sort of whatever yeah, it was. Anyway- the, You went to the pictures? I <laughs> swear to God. I He's not coming to golf. 
<laughs> um, and I took it to the movies and I remember like, oh, what should we see? I'm thinking, I don't care. Like, you know, let's just get into the cinema. Hopefully something's going to happen. And she's like, oh, Star Wars. And I'm like, brilliant. She's not going to want Star Wars. She doesn't care. She just wants to get in there as well. And then we got into the cinema and the movie started and I tried to make the move. And that's when I realized she was a fucking dead set <laughs> Star Wars fan. And she's uh-huh. like, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, Phantom Menace is on. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is will be a waste of my life for two hours. <laughs> like, I was just, I was a really nervous kid with girls growing up. I we, mean, the movies make sense then, sent then, sense then, but then the thinking that you should make a move in the cinema was the downfall. Because a, a cinema, you're not speaking to the person for two hours. No, no, but it's at 17, you're like, where are we going to go? We're going to hang out the loading dock at Westfield? Like, there's nowhere else to hang. You know, couldn't no, go to each other's houses. I mean, you could go to the food court, but you don't have to go to the, load, the loading <laughs> yeah, dock. What, what are you waiting for? <laughs> My bad. There's a girl, <laughs> off loading. The girl I really liked at Mather's Shoes, and I remember like just cruising through Westfield and then just slowing down past Mather's just as she went <laughs> yeah. past. How'd you meet your wife? What's the story there? She was a Black Thunder driver. Uh, so you uh, were uh, Brisbane? You uh, Both from Brizzy? Um, no, she was a Sydney Black Thunder driver. Before that, I was dating a girl called Amy from Perth, who was uh, the Black Thunder driver at 92.9 in oh, Perth. So, you had a, a type. Mm. Before that. Icy cold cans of Coke. Was yeah. Anna, who was a Black Thunder driver at <laughs> NX, <laughs> NXFM in Newcastle. Before that, Abby, who was a Black Thunder driver at SAFM in Adelaide. <laughs> well, you were just like outside <laughs> broadcast. Where, where would it all happen? It's just because uh, when I was working with the Hot 30, it was a national role, so you were traveling a bit. Mm-hmm. And all I was doing, like, I was just a young radio nerd, so all I did was work. So, you know, you're partying yeah. with work crew, you're hanging out with work crew. Do you reckon- no, it, it, They're fun. It's a fun environment. And you yeah, end up is, yeah. All but drinking together. Do you think there, there is potential, like I th- we, we've spoken about this with Sevs, if you date a listener, it's like I, I remember uh, when I was younger, I nearly went into sort of church circles because I heard that you could uh, go two levels up if you, like from a, a looks perspective- if you were part of the same church, yeah, like right. they, they don't look at looks as much. Well, because they, know, so they don't have as many options. They're yeah, like, yeah, I'm exactly. only dating, yeah, I'm dating in the church pool. pond. Yeah. It's a long game. What you're saying, <laughs> you'd, be a, you'd be a four in yeah. public, yeah, yeah, yeah. a six but, uh, in church. Hill song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With and yeah. I would have learned how to fucking sing and play yeah. guitar. But the, um, no, so do you, do you think that being on radio, you were able to potentially- uh, oh, I went from a four to a nine purely for the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for with a nine. It, yeah. If I'm unemployed, I am back to a four. I have no. <laughs> there is no mistake there. Um, no, I think when I started working in radio, it definitely helped my confidence. Like mm-hmm. I just wasn't a confident kid, like in my teenage years. Was it sec? Was radio sexy then? Um, no, not necessarily sexy. I think just getting a job and a gig that. You know, you weren't at uni studying and, you know, working at bloody City Beach on the weekends. It was like, oh, I've started my career. I'm into mm-hmm. it now. So, I think it just brought more confidence. Okay, great. Well, we should – let's lock in the golf because I'm actually serious. Uh, yeah. What about bowling as well? That's an easy one. No. You don't like <laughs> bowling? I, I think bowling – bowls or bowling? Bowling. I find with – I took the kids bowling. Ten I pin find bowling. after the second bowl, the thrill is gone. Mm. Mm-hmm. The, well, idea, I, the idea of it sounds a lot better than I that. Haven't, I haven't thought about them opening. Like, think about the fingers yeah, yeah. getting in the little holes. Well, surely you get your own oh. bowling ball. That'd be good. Or that would have to be, clean it. You'd be a guy that rock up with your little handbag with a bowling, bowling ball, ball in it. You know, it's like the leather How bags. much would a bowling ball cost? I don't, I don't know, know, but I'm with Tommy. I can't see you sharing a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you having a sports cupboard at home. <laughs> but that one time a year you play a different sport, you'd be like, oh, I've got my own clubs. I've got my own clubs. <laughs> I don't do communal no, anything. The, the golf club thing is interesting. Like, I've- I've bought a few golf clubs over the years. Well, we, I don't have clubs. George does. What does it cost to actually hire? Uh, not, Hiring not, is shit. You don't, it doesn't cost that much to hire <laughs> I would clubs. buy, I'm thinking. 30 bucks, maybe. No, less than. If we're bucks. doing one, a golf session, don't buy club, clubs, I've been mate. been begging for free clubs on our podcast yeah. for the last few really? days. What brands? I do not care. Can have Aldi written down the side for all I care. Like if it's <laughs> yes. a free set of clubs, for the amount of time we're going to be playing, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. Yeah. How I'll often? Take- not much. Well, let's do the first ones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's, let's hire some clubs. We, we um, When we were living in New Zealand, um, we went across to spend Christmas with Lou's family in Sydney. And they're, they're quite an extravagant Christmas sort of, not expensive presents, but just we'll buy lots of presents, mm-hmm. small amounts, but just so there's heaps of gift giving. Mm-hmm. Now, we're living in New Zealand. And all our kids have been given like 10 presents each. And I'm thinking, all I'm thinking is excess baggage, got to get this back. And then Lou's dad comes up to me and goes, there you go, mate, pick this one out for you. And I opened it and it was a golf club. 
And he goes, it's got your name written all over it. And I'm like, that's great, Pete. Amazing. Thank you so much. Just what I wanted. I haven't played golf maybe 10 years. And now I've got to get a golf club back to New Zealand. Like, just you couldn't. Do you still have the golf club? No, I left it in Sydney. We Uh. could, like, because you can't take it on the plane with you because it's a weapon. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, you'd just be oversized. Yeah. And then I'm not. I'm not lining up at oversized for one club. Do you have issues with admin? Yes. I hate admin. You you didn't check your email. Do you check your emails? No. um, What's your inbox? What's it say? How many is in there? (laughs) This is going to be big. (laughs) (laughs) Six thousand three hundred twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be- before we go, last thing I want to know: we, we spoke on Sunday. Uh, what's uh, we're talking about romance and romantic things that you've done? What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Oh, yeah, I did hear about this. Um, there's some good ones. You threw out a good one, actually. You did with Bree. I was like, that was. Oh no, it was Tommy. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you got this wrong. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. mate. My bad. Tommy with Bree. It was the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the bear with the cheeseburger. Oh, no, that was me. That was oh, me. was that yes? Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Yes. It was the bear. Yeah, God, the bear. that was a roller coaster, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, the teddy bear with the cheeseburger. I was like, yeah, that's good. That. So what have you done? Because it's because GB, you were a bit sad after that ep. Yeah. Well, I wasn't on that episode, but I was sitting on the couch watching, and I was. So glad I wasn't on because the whole time I was thinking like Jesus, I I can't think of anything that I've done. Yeah, like, really. Oh like God. apart when, from just booking holidays that we're both kind of aware of. <laughs> yeah, payment. when you're on the spot trying yeah. to think of it, um, I'm I'm very big on like I like surprise. I like surprising Lou when she's not expecting it, whether it's flowers, a holiday, babysitter for the night. But I just Basketball don't like ring. the ex- <laughs> Spa, <laughs> golf clubs, <laughs> buggy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm big on like uh, I like non expectations and then surprises. Mm-hmm. But um, and so what is still what's an example? <sighs> like weekend, I'm, I'm a bit like you. Weekends away, flowers and stuff, but I can't. Yeah. think yeah. of. Do you think we should know? Like I was thinking maybe maybe we do them so much that they've just become common. <laughs> it's just so normal. Yeah, maybe we need to no, make we're a big fucking thing useless self. When was the rice, <laughs> last time you've written in a card? Do you write cards? Uh, yes, I did a card recently. I don't know what it was for. Mother's Day. It was recent. Was Mother's Day? Yeah. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah. Um, pancakes are a pain in the ass, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was Mother's Day, and I remember writing the card. Or like, if if Lou's having a down week and she's like, you know, I just feel crap about myself or crap about my mm-hmm. life, then I'd write a note and leave it for at four in the morning when I go to work. That's, oh, that's nice. nice. Or, yeah. she, or like, I know on Friday this would be awkward if she doesn't. But normally ahead of holidays, like I might wake up at four in the morning, go in the spare room to get my clothes and get ready, and she might have put a bottle of champagne or you know. Wait, she's, she, you're talking about what she's <laughs> she's done for you? <laughs> Is that what and, she's and, and you start drinking at four a.m. <laughs> How bad I'm is feeling it? Attacked. Kiss. No, this is good. I'm feeling attacked. All right, the golf uh, in the it's next happening. two weeks. Yeah, I'm fired up. Yeah, we good. Are you, uh, short, short game or long game? As in, do you, are, are you twelve or no, 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 you fucking idiots. <laughs> are you good? Do you play a bit of short game or a long game? As in, oh, uh, off the tee or like uh, sort of chipping, putting? But. I went and played that Hamilton Island golf course once, oh, yeah. and I lost sixty three balls. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is a lot of balls. Yeah, but to be fair, it's an island course, so. <laughs> There's water How are you carrying that many balls anyway? We <laughs> did several trips back to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, actually, I know that I, we should be ending, but uh, on that Hamilton Island golf thing, uh, when I was 12 years old, I was going to Hamilton Island mm. and I s- sat next to my idol at the time. Who was it? Jeff Jans. Oh, the chef? The chef. Yes, yes. Yeah, and he was going there. To play like a golf trip. Of course he was. It's where all the yeah. celebrities would have gone. Yeah. And so I was sitting there and there's actually a home video of um, uh, my mum's filming me on the plane. Oh, flipping out. Yeah. No, well, no, it's just, I just did a presenting piece. It's just me and Jeff Jans and we're sitting next to each other. And I'm like, hey, Ryan, I'm on the plane and oh. I'm sitting next to Jeff Jans. <laughs> and then he waves and then it transitions to a balloon effect. But the um, <laughs> he said when we we're getting off the plane, he said- Oh, Josh, lovely to meet you. We should play golf because I was big into golf at the time. How old were you? 12. Right. How long do you reckon um, you chewed his ear off for? I didn't. So, the thing was that I was- You would have been so embarrassed, Tommy. No, I wasn't. 
I didn't I didn't mention it all until we were landing. Like I was just oh, like yeah. I didn't want to be the person built up the carriage. To, yeah, and so then That's there was great. a whole thing. And but anyway, Je- I met Jeff Jan. He would have been so embarrassed that you were like, "Do you mind if I just do a little piece to camera <laughs> loud as hell on the plane?" I should actually find find it. It's really good. I ran into uh, Jules Lunt when we were on Hamilton Island. And um, we end up having a few, and he got our buggy confiscated. Did he? Yeah, <laughs> it sounds very. Yep. Because he kept on driving, saying, hey, doesn't get any better, better than, than this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him on the getaway. There's no cameras around, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a daily talk show. Uh, Jace, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, my favourite. Uh, my favourite uh, thing to listen to is the the start of your pod, like the yeah. The like half an hour that you do. We should really just record that, not bother about doing no, well, the three hour commercial it, radio show. Well, it's the podcast, it's the well, format, it's a pod, right? you know, It's so like I think that it's a uh, no. I think that people overlook it, but it's always the thing that I'm like, if I can tune in, Thank I, you, if mate. I don't have time to listen to the whole thing, I've got to listen to that. Well, it sounds like it's, that's the only bit you listen to. No, it's very good. <laughs> I, know, I saw you, you you did have a blow up the other day about the whole thing. Got upset. How on a scale of one to ten, how serious are you when you get upset? Because I feel like the ganging up that goes on happens <sighs> probably with me a five. Too. Yeah, probably five people Which think it's a stitch than, up. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, I, I'm very big on just doing real mm-hmm. radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If someone's pissed off, I'd rather say it. Mm-hmm. It's you know, I don't like um, fake stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why that five. format works so well. Probably because five. then you can just like yeah. talk shit and swear and. What, sort of what, what number do you start breaking screens? What's that? Was that eight? Yeah, about it? a six. <laughs> <laughs> so it was close. Um, I'm thinking week one of holidays for golf. In fact, I'm going to shoot through dates this afternoon. I'm mm-hmm. very, very um, keen on this. Yeah, I think it'll right. be great. What's I don't know about well, the. I like the idea of walking just to get our steps in, but we don't. Okay, have, well, you can walk. Yeah, but, <laughs> no, 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 I'm happy. Go for it, mate. I would like it. It would be good to try and sort out. Go- I don't like the idea of the rental golf clubs because they're just going to be fucking. What's the other option? Spending 480 bucks. What a uh, wanker. Only, <laughs> only did to rock up at just a one off golf day with his own club. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I couldn't stop. I got my own buggy too. Be, I've no, gone all out. <laughs> no, I think there would, be some, there would be something nice about us going all out. Like wearing- How about we do one? Start crawl before you walk. Thank you. I'm with you, Tommy. And then we can okay. get the shoes after. We'll try and get a deal. Oh, yeah. I used to have golf shoes. Uh, fuck. Actually, Actually, the lock laces are big in the golfing community. Casual, <laughs> nine holes. So Goes heart well. attacks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goes well. We runs? go to 18 holes, our own uniform, carts, clubs. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a daily talk show. We'll, we'll work something out. Uh, thank you, Jason. Hawkins. Seb's coming? Yeah, he'll be there. Yeah, we're he'll now be... up to five buggies. Well, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's a... Um, we'll get Jason. Is oh, yeah. four Seven. I, I'm just trying to think of... T- yeah. I mean, if we're going to park... Uh, what's it called? Royal Park. Royal. Royal Park. <laughs> yeah. I think they're pretty relaxed. I reckon you could get five. Okay. On a hole. Are they open? Or are you yeah. just breaking into like an old golf course? <laughs> no, like yeah. it sounds. No, they're open. Go to, um, We've got a book. Churchill Park Golf Club. I was remember there for six a sick years. one just in Berlin. Yeah, we can go wherever. I reckon I'm excited about this. Yeah. I'm Usually breaking the mold. People. I'm leaning in. Yeah. This yeah. is very big you for me. I haven't done it yet though. No, I know, but I'm, I feel <laughs> like I'm actually like going to do this yeah, one. No, no, yeah. It's committed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a daily talk show. See you tomorrow, guys. Have see, a good one. See you guys. Bye.